of the European Conservatives is Mr. Samai Sado from Azerbaijan. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Madam President. And uh, uh, I think uh, Mr. Rubinian tried to mislead this organization. I think his job to pre present everything uh, upside down. Unfortunately, he is speaking about the hostilities about, uh, between Armenia and Azerbaijan, but he didn't mention that still Armenian military forces inside Azerbaijan, inside Azerbaijan. He didn't mention that before September hostilities between Armenia and Azerbaijan, Armenian military forces infiltrated into the territory of Azerbaijan and put the mines inside the territories, inside the territory, uh, within the territory of Azerbaijan. Why Mr. Rubinian didn't mention about each day casualties of Azerbaijanis? Why he didn't mention about the infrastructure and civilians which had been killed and killing on daily, on daily base because of Armenian invasion to Azerbaijani territories? My dear colleagues, my dear friends, you know, Unfortunately, there is a war against Azerbaijan. Information war against Azerbaijan. With videos, with accusations, with uh, attacks to our embassies, with these kind of presentations, that only one side is guilty. But that's not true. The true that immediately after peaceful negotiations between the President of Azerbaijan and Prime Minister of Armenia. These clashes had happened. That immediately after the positive developments which we are trying to do, something very strange is coming from our neighboring country. We should understand that they are not in favor to fulfill the obligations under which they have signed. They have, they have to withdraw the military forces from Azerbaijan. They have to sit together and to think about delimitation and demarcation of the territories. They have to bring those who committed crimes against Azerbaijanis in Ganja, in Khojali, to the justice. Because we did it, of course. During the war, something could happen, but the, uh, but the uh, prosecutor general from Azerbaijan already started its mission in Azerbaijan. Have you heard about any initiative from Armenia? No. And that's why, if we are going to be balanced and objective, we should take into account that this assembly is becoming a tool in the hands of those who are thinking about war, not peace. We are, despite of all the things, for peace, and we will do our best for peace in the region. Thank you.